Hey everyone, welcome back to uh, season two of the productivity tips and tricks for Office 365. Today, we are gonna be talking about Microsoft Teams. We've got three videos in the series that we're gonna be going through with you. And the first one is, what is Teams? How do we create a team? How do we use it? And what does the real software look like? And how do we make sense of the options inside it? We're gonna be looking at what the relationship is between Teams and Microsoft SharePoint and just seeing how they work together. Let's get right into it. Okay guys, so here we have Microsoft Teams and what we're looking at at this point right now is the Teams view within Microsoft Teams. So you can see here that I am looking at a chat conversation that's been happening within my team and I can see Megan has posted a GIF which works really well within Teams. And if I wanted to reply to this conversation, you know, I can just type in over here and say, hey, hey, Megan, thanks for the work. And she'll immediately get that message along with everyone else in the team. But before we go ahead and delve into more about the team's channels and how we create a team, let's have a quick walkthrough around the team's interface. So let's start at the top on the left hand side under activity. So activities will show you any mentions or replies or any other notifications within here. This is very similar to your social media feeds where if you get tagged, if you get ad mention, it will appear here. If you do have an, have a, an ad mention over here, you can select it and it'll take you directly to where you have been mentioned. On the left, we've got chat and the chat, you can have your one-to-one -one conversations with your colleagues. This is very similar to your Skype conversations you can have with your colleagues. And um, the major difference here being that when you have the chat in Skype and you close that window, that chat is gone. Uh, for you to go and find or you know look for what you chatted about with your colleague, you typically have to delve into Outlook and look for your saved conversations. So it's a bit of a process. Here, however, with the Teams, we can start a chat with anybody in the, in the organization and our conversation is kept throughout the history of time. If myself and Joni have been chatting for the last year, I can scroll all the way back to the very first chat that we've sent to each other. And that helps immensely, especially when we've sent images or documents or URLs within the chat. We can go and pick it up directly through there. What you also notice here is a search bar, so you can just type for anything and it's gonna bring you back those results. Even those, even those URLs that someone sent to you four months ago in a chat. On the left, we've got Teams. Now Teams is really where your Microsoft Teams comes together. So you can see that we've got a number of teams over here. We've got Retail, Sales and Marketing, and the Mark 8 Project Team. Now, there are three teams and within each team, you can have different users accessing different things. So my retail team has different users compared to the sales and marketing team and compared to the Mark 8 project team. We can set those permissions up in such a way where retail doesn't even know, or doesn't even see that there are these other two teams. Or what we may have is one or two users who are able to access everything in here and actually work and collaborate amongst everything. When we go and expand onto a team, we have something called channels. By default, you always get the general channel where conversations can be created and your collaboration can happen within the team itself. So let's go into the Mark 8 project team instead, where we can go into one of our different channels. So we've got a general channel, which is for general conversations, but within here, the new channel, based on the conversation we wanna have, what works really well here is in this case, we are developing a new drone. So we need to talk about the design, what we're gonna put online, what our mark go to market plan is, and any R&D goes into here as well. So we've set up these separate silos that we can all have those conversations within. If you have access to the team, you'll have access to all channels beneath it. There are no private channels just yet. However, that is likely coming over the course of time. Now, within your window here, when we click onto a particular channel, a conversation window appears on the right-hand side. If we click on our research and development, you'll notice that it's a completely different conversation. 
So within our conversations window, you'll notice there are a number of tabs that sit at the top here. Any files that get sent into the chat like we have over here will be located under files. You can select files, it'll display all the files for you. Your wiki will also display a blank template which you can use to create information around this particular channel. This could be certain things like shared information, um, things like the Wi-Fi password perhaps, or things like your corporate identity, or anything you need to know regarding this particular channel. Over here, we've got the market project plan. So when we select on that, this then allows us to connect to a multitude of different Office 365 services. We've got the planners that appear here, all our tasks for the particular channel. If I click on Power BI, it's gonna show me graphs that are relevant to my team. Now I can go in any number of tabs here. All I have to do is select the plus button, and that's gonna allow me to go and add tabs from multiple different sources that Teams does provide for me. You can see that there are tons of different tabs that we can connect to and tons of different services that we can plug directly into. Some of these you may recognize, some of these you may use on a daily basis. If these none of these actually meet or have an app for you, you can just select website and type in a external website or an internal website and it will be loaded for you and your team as a tab. One along the left hand side, we've got our calendar. Now our calendar connects directly into our Office 365 Exchange Online calendar, where we can see exactly what's happening throughout the environment. You can see that it loads up all my meetings and I can go and select on one of them and join a meeting through Microsoft Teams. On our calls, I can dial a contact within our, within our organizations. I can type a name, hit the call button, and there we go. Underneath files are all the files that I have access to or that have been shared with me it will display here within the files tab. It also connects into your personal OneDrive so you can access those files directly through one interface. Now to create the team itself, you simply need to go into teams, go down to the bottom where it says join or create a team and we can go ahead and click that and we can create a team. What I'm gonna do is build a team from scratch. However, if you've already got a team set up with a number of tabs, you can go ahead and create another team from that existing team. I'll do it from scratch though. I'm gonna make it a public team and my name is gonna be the weekly running group. So in here, it's a public group for the company. Anybody can join this. You don't have to be invited to it. And essentially we're gonna share information about going for runs on a weekly basis and potentially entering marathons. So here we can just go and enter in a person's name. I'll add Joni, let's also add in Megan, and I'll add them both. When it adds them, I have the ability to go and choose their status. So I can go and choose owner or member for the users. I select close and they get an email saying that they've been added to a team and this weekly running group gets added directly to their Microsoft Teams. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for the next one. Bye.